Confidence is king. Whoa, isn't it the greatest feeling when you feel confident? I can do this. I've got this. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. You feel good. It's slinked well-being and getting that high, powerful feeling. Success is 80% mindset, 20% skill set. Skills are important. Mindset is everything. Having resilience, determination, self-belief, being focused and able to concentrate and walk around thinking, yes, yes, confidence. These are the Secret Influence TV 8 Top Confidence Hacks. Preparation is power, body language, smiling, motivated affirmations, a so what approach, dress for success, healthy mind, healthy body, and visualize. Preparation is power. We always feel more secure if we know what to expect. If we're prepared, there's nothing worse than suddenly something coming up and you're not ready. Someone asks you to do something, perhaps talk in front of a group of people, stand on stage. Whoa, I'm not ready. Preparation is power. So try and be prepared for what's upcoming. What have you got in your schedule? What have you got in your diary? What might happen at this event? What, how can I prepare myself mentally as well as sort of physically? Preparation is one of the best, most simplest things you can do. Just always be prepared for the unexpected. The next tip is around body language. Body language, communication is 57% body language. It's mostly body language. You're always giving off signals of our body, even if you don't say anything. And content's important. What we say is more important how we say it. So if you want to be confident, want to appear confident, practice good body language. Walk into the room straight up, look people in your eyes, strong handshake. All these things we know are so obvious we need to do. It's a massive subject, but practice, practice, practice. Smiling, it's one of its own things here because I think it's the most important thing. If, you, if, you look, if you're smiling, you look like you're confident. Even if you're not feeling confident, smile and it'll help you feel more confident. Smiling lifts your mood. It gives you a rise in serotonin and endorphins and it makes you feel so much better you can, you will always feel more confident if you're feeling happy if you're smiling and you always look more confident if you're smiling so if you're ever going to walk in a room and do a meeting or presentation not quite sure you haven't really you're feeling a bit nervous feeling a little bit perhaps a bit stressed just walk in there and smile motive affirmations i know in all these things that i'm listening here everyone will believe in but it's a little pep talk, isn't it? You know, it's like going on stage and you say, I've got this, I can do this. Or someone's doing something they're not feeling very confident about. And you might say to them, you got this, you can do it. We all do it. It's subconscious at some level. It's just get in the habit every morning, getting up and motivating affirmations. It helps focus your brain. It helps give yourself a motivating lift. It helps you be more confident by reinforcing that self-belief. So what approach? So what? happen whatever happens is never as bad as you think and it's the most empowering thing to think so what even that worst thing does happen so what can you change it it's happened move on learn from it it's all about practice anyway feedback and practice things will always go wrong that's life don't dwell on it don't let it knock your confidence so what what can you learn what can you learn from it and then move on it's not the end of the world it's rarely as bad as you think Dress for success. Well, what I actually mean is dress for the situation, for the context. Dressing it relates to our mood and our confidence. If we're wearing something we all feel we're happy in, feel confident in, that's the most important thing. So wear something that gives you confidence. Wear something suitable for the environment. So if you go to a formal occasion, you'll dress more formally. If it's something more relaxed, um, less corporate, more, more perhaps informal students, wear something casual. The best, the most safest bet is smart casual. Healthy mind, healthy body, we all know this. If you're tired and you're not sleeping, you're not eating, you're hungry, you don't feel well, you're not going to feel confident. If you're refreshed, you're sleeping well, you're energized, you're doing exercise, you're gonna be more confident. There is a link. So if you wanna be confident, let's start with the basics. Eat well, get out exercise, get good sleep, and be healthy. Visualize. There's a lot of research done about this. Wow, big athletes, before they go and, and onto the pitch, before they go and do their, their athletics, in the Olympics, you know, the winners, they all visualize, I can do this. They see themselves winning the medal. They see themselves running over the running line. There's a lot of research done that people who visualize reach their targets. They do better and better. It's linked to winners in any area. To be a champion, visualize. Visualize you achieving your goal. Visualize you doing whatever you need to do. Visualize success. 
that is the eight top hacks of things you can practice daily. It's a brief overview, like everything in life, practice, 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 practice. And if you like these tips, subscribe to this channel and there will be lots more top mindset tips coming to you soon.